My name is Nicholas Montez, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicholas Montez. Welcome back to another YouTube channel video, everybody. I'm so excited to have y'all back here together again. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing um, a new updated ranking. So, if you guys are aware, last week or something like that, they decided to put on Home Alone 4 and 5 on Disney+. Plus, and I thought that would be giving me the great way opportunity to rank all six Home Alone films and actually give you an updated ranking. Since last month when Home Alone, Home Sweet Home Alone came out, I only ranked four films and I wanted to do a full ranking. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with this ranking. And easily this is the worst Home Alone film. And it's not just because you have um, you know, uh, like, it's, the story is different, and it's so different from all the first two Home Alone films, and the kid is different, but really, nothing about this movie really stands out. There, a kid gets sick, and then it's not really dealing with the family drama, and then the criminals you don't really care about, and then... Like, the people don't really believe the kid, and it's, like, it's kind of annoying. The only thing that I li like from this movie is seeing young Scarlett Johansson, but that's it. So, for me, this is easily one of the worst Home Alone films ever. Now, this is actually a bit of a step up from the, the first, from the third film. I thought that this was actually a enjoyable enough little entry into the Home Alone franchise. Of course, the way it kind of ties into the um, first two Home Alone films and some of the um, action with the burglars getting beaten up is probably the best it's ever been done. Uh, some stuff is kind of fun, especially how it kind of ties into the 21st century. But the movie itself just does not, you don't really care about the characters. The, the criminals aren't really burglars, they just happen to, they just happen to want to get something. And they're not really burglars at all, so it just kind of drops the whole thing down, as it's not as it's not really the home alone story you expect. And as I'm first talking about the first home alone movie that I've seen um, since November, I can only say that this is definitely a enjoyable film. Of course. Um, I, at first it starts out a little bit weird because you have all these characters, you know, doing all this stuff, and to me it just feels a lot, a little bit too long at times, but at the same time you kind of start this friendship, you, the kid kind of, Finn kind of starts his friendship with the, with this boy, with this, uh, other guy, and he kind of starts friends at the same time, and there are some funny moments, I did like how they actually brought the guy that played, uh, um, the guy from, uh, Halloween to Rob Zombie films, but overall the movie is just okay. Now for me, this is honestly, of all the Home Alone films, of, of the ones that don't have Macaulay Culkin, this is easily one of the best ones. And what makes it so enjoyable is that you have, um, just, uh, everything that you want. Like, the, first off, the kid in here is just adorable. It, he's just very, very cute and adorable. The, um, the movie itself also just, um, nails it with the interactions with the kid. It, and, like, the, the, the human emotions actually feel real because of the kid. 
And because in the Home Alone movies before this, they kind of felt a little bit forced. Like Macaulay Culkin didn't really um, set out emotion like he, I felt like he could have been. But he was like eight years old at the time. But and then you actually, oh, oops, you actually have fun with the with the burglars throughout it, and you actually just have fun while watching this movie. Now, granted, it's not the best Home Alone film, but it has it is at least a good one, other than the other one. And for me, I thought that this was easily one of the best Home Alone films. And what makes it so good is that you have just, uh, <clears throat> what, what, what can you say about this movie? It's just a great movie from start to finish. Like, obviously the original is better, but like, um, the characters get more moments. There's a lot, there's a lot more funnier moments. The story's not original. I like, I kind of like the arc, what they do with the old lady in this film. But at the same time, it's not as original, but I still think it's a very rewatchable Christmas film. This is easily one of the absolute best Christmas movies of all time. And what makes this movie work so well is that it has a premise that it's original, that is fun, especially for the 90s. And it's also just very entertaining when the burglars get beaten up at the end. You actually have an arc front with an old man. Macaulay Culkin was perfect for this role. This movie overall is just a, a, a Christmas classic. So for me, this movie comes in at number one. So that's my ranking of all the Home Alone films. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My Instagram is Marvel6 and my TikTok is Marvel1 fan. If you guys don't understand those names, head to my bad sections. You can follow me on all social medias. I'm also in Letterbox. It's the same name as Instagram. Love underscore six underscore. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.